heard you the first time. I know you're in there, I go. I can feel your dress seeping through the door. Yeah, my landlady. Maybe she didn't see me. I gotta find a new place with a peephole. And a back exit. And a moat. And a better looking landlady. Oscar, I can hear every word you're saying. Open up, or I'll break this door down and charge you for the damages. Hey, baby, you're looking good. Those algae treatments are really working out. That crusty thing around your eyes almost cleared up. Don't try to sweet talk me, you greasy, bubbly little freeloader. You owe me three months back rent, and I'm in no mood for your cut rate brand of charisma. <laughs> you crazy. I got a hot tip on a seahorse today. I can't tell you the name, but it's lucky, day. When that sweet baby comes in, you and me are gonna have a nice candlelight dinner for two. We'll get us some escargot, and maybe a harpist off in the corner. Really pretty. Gorgeous, even. Her shapely white scales glistening like molten pearl. Oscar, I have had it up to here with you. You are evicted! Vamos! Or I call my cousin with a big pizza claws and eye sauce to show you what happens to those who do not buy moose when so instructed! <laughs> I like you when you're like this. Spicy. Good morning once again, Reef City. I'm Katie Current and you're watching C9 News. Not just Reef City's only TV news, but it's second highest rated. Our top story tonight, you've just been evicted. You're out of money, out of luck, and out on your butt. A uh, tail. Did someone proof this copy? Man, she threw out my whole CD collection. In music news, a rare collection of CDs was found by a hermit crab named Crazy Joe. He was quoted as saying, I got three things to say! Ha! 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 That's all, folks. Sounds like Crazy Joe. I better get a move on. You can look around by moving the mouse and swim by holding the left mouse button. Use the right mouse button to dart forward and smash things. And now here's Stan with the weather. It's gonna be another wet one today, Katie. That's the fish I wanted to see. I don't have time for you, Oscar. I got important things to do. But, but I'm important. Newsflash, Oscar. No one else thinks you're important yet. Don't take it personally. You just can't talk to Sykes until you get some fame. And as we all know, fame is strictly the domain of the talented and intelligent. You earn fame by doing jobs for other fish. The better you do, the more fame you'll get. Try right-clicking on this guy. That icon over his head means he's got a job for you to do. Job equals fame, and fame equals fun. Or so we have you believe. Dude, what's going on? We're playing basketball, but I'm not tall enough. Not tall enough? You're underwater. What it really takes is some smooth moves. I don't have any smooth moves. Sure you do. Everybody's got some funk in them. Well, except for my boss, maybe sea cows. Can you show me some moves? I'll show you some serious moves. Back it up now. Give me some room. Busted. 
Now, in health and lifestyle, dancing can be a fun and therapeutic way to stay in shape, but requires significant amounts of coordination, in addition to blasting that booyah flavor G-Funk while jamming straight up old school. You see those colorful bubbles rising up the screen? When they hit the three buttons at the top, push the matching arrow keys to pop the bubbles. The more you pop, the cooler you are, and vice versa. Pop all the bubbles of the same color and your dancing will improve. But don't make a mistake or you'll start looking silly. And that can be scarring. The bar at the top of the screen is your cool meter. When you pop a bunch of bubbles in a row, people will think you're cool and the cool meter will increase. Try getting your meter as full as you can by the end of the song and be the envy of bored family members and gullible peers. And now get out there and have a good time. I'll catch y'all later. And tell all your mamas I said hi. So especially yours, Tyrone. Alright, bro. Yeah, we'll Goodbye. see you. Okay. Goodbye, bro. Oscar, aren't you supposed to be at work? Whoa, Angie, you said the W word. So you can't be bothered to do your job. That is just like you, Oscar. Come on, Angie. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be the richest fish in Reef City. Can't get into the details, but today is my lucky day. One or two days of not scrubbing whale blubber ain't gonna make much of a difference. Whatever, Oscar. Just stay away from Sykes today. He's in a terrible mood. I don't think I'll even talk to you unless you've got something really important. Hey! That crab pinched my purse! Don't worry, you pretty little head, Angie. Oscar is on the case. Wait! He might be dangerous! Tonight, on Crime Watch, breaking and entering. Angie's purse is somewhere in this warehouse, which is for some reason guarded by crabs with flashlights. Sentry crabs don't see well, but do taste great with a shallot cream sauce. If you stay out of the flashlight beams, you won't be detected. Avoid the barracudas as well. They're ill-tempered and single-minded and prone to eat anything they come across. Reminds me of my first husband. 
guards can be temporarily distracted by throwing urchins. It's practical and fun! Except for the urchin. Click on it. Yes, now. Update coming in. Yes, it looks like you opened a door. A slow news day, apparently. Check that out. They left the purse just sitting there. <laughs> this will be easier than I thought. Did you? No, I just tied all his legs in a knot, pounded his shell in, poked him in the eye stalk. He might live. Really? Well, huh. I'll see you at work. What? You don't think I could take on a dozen crabs with my bare fins? Have you seen me dance? That kind of agility can be lethal. Sure, Oscar. Get to work. And try not to hurt yourself filling the soap buckets, Hercules. Yeah, well, what does she know? I could take on a crab, if I knew how to fight, and they didn't have those claws, I mean, things are nasty. <laughs> Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Sometimes you find money just lying on the street. Go ahead and pick it up. Finders keepers. Also, pick up urchins like this one and throw them at other fish. Just press the space bar. Have Ernie check with Legal and, and make sure we can say that. Oh, and just a touch more paprika on this sometime today.
Oscar. Hey, 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 what's up, brother? Give me some fin. <laughs> I get it, I get it. You want to keep things on a professional level. You missed your last payment. In fact, you missed all your payments. I hear what you're saying, man. And I'll have your clams for you by the end of the day. I offer my personal verbal guarantee, which you just can't put a price on. I got my orders, Oscar. I don't want money anymore. Really? All right, then. Thanks, man. Well, I'm on roll. Got places to see, fishes to be. Oh, you're still paying me back. It's sushi. Sushi? Oh, I get it. That's a pretty decent comeback. Actually, wait a minute. Sushi? That's fish meat. Ah, fins don't fail me now. Hey, stop the game. Stop the game. Woo. All right, before you go and get me killed, let me tell you how this is gonna work. You see that big shark back there? See that big hole in his face with all the white pointy things? Yeah, that's his mouth. Your job is to keep me out of it. I'm gonna be swimming toward the screen like this. When you see an arrow pop up, that means I'm about to hit something. Move the mouse to get me out of the way. And if you see that jerk trying to bite on me, move me as fast as you can. And pay attention. I am not gonna be lunch just because you saw something shiny across the room. All right, you got it? No swim! No. No. Man, I know you hate spicy food, but that's why I just chugged a whole bottle of hot sauce. tonight. Hey, look, a sandwich. You know, whenever I'm hungry or depressed or if I got a broken tail or a piece of fin missing or if my health bar's low, a sandwich always fixes me right up. <laughs> Gotta love them sandwiches. before you can talk to important fish like Sykes. Sorry, no such thing as a free lunch, except for all those sandwiches lying around.
And now for sports. The Underground Sewer Surfers Competition welcomes race fans and thrill seekers of all breathing methods. The goal, get to the finish line before anyone else. If you're not sure which direction to go, just follow the handy signs or your swifter competition. Good luck and happy not crashing. I've been handed a special bulletin. It appears these lightning bolts are speed boosts. Hit them and they'll shoot you forward with sickening but legal velocity. It's a great way to stay ahead of the pack. All racers with urchins in their possession have been cleared by local authorities to throw them at other fish to slow them down. I guess that's why they call it underground. All right, folks, let's cut to the chase. Three, two, one, go! Right away, Tadpo! Holy simmering halibut! It looks like the new guy's just taking the lead. If he keeps this up, we'll all soon be chanting, uh, what's his name again? Oh, right, Oscar! When we say underground, we mean underground! Woo! You can just smell the excitement! The betting is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. When we say underground, we mean underground! City, put your money where your mouth is and sign a release form. Wheels need not apply. The bet is now closed. You want to lose your money? Wait for the next one. the coolest boss ever. Not now, Oscar. I got way too much on my mind. I gotta skip town for a while, but a lot of fish here owe me some serious money. I can't just leave it lying around. All right, try this on. I go get your money for you, and then we talk. You think that I'm gonna trust you with thousands and thousands of clams? Um, yes. All right, you talk me into it. But only if you help me first. You better bring me at least 50 bags before time runs out or you're finished. Got it? Fish sticks. Hey, it's me. What could happen? Okay, I gotta grab enough money before time runs out, or Sykes is gonna kill me.
how many more of these I can find. Money. Woo! Ah, well, this looks like all of it. <laughs> what did I tell you? It's me. You're all right, Oscar. So tell me about this seahorse. Lucky day, is it? And in sporting and comical injury news, the pride of Davy Jones's ranch, Seahorse Lucky Day tripped and spilled to the turf in the home stretch of the Reef City Derby, squandering a seven-length lead in the process. Track officials are confident no foul play was involved. Circuit spokesman Brillo McGillicuddy was quoted as saying, It's no big deal. Fish trip all the time. On a lighter note, in the aftermath of the race, a number of unlucky bettors seemed noticeably upset. Oscar, you moron! I'm gonna make you wish you were never hatched, you pathetic algae-sucking bottom feeder! Some less savory elements in the crowd even grew unruly as one poor loser was pummeled senseless by a pair of surly jellyfish and reportedly later dragged out to the wastelands outside of Reef City. Track officials remain confident no foul play was involved. He had it coming. Come on, guys! I'm good for the money! You can tell Sykes I'll get it! Soon! He'll believe anything. Just between us, he's not that bright. Oh, it's too late for that, me boy! You and us is going to party! All right, if that's how you want it, we'll do this the hard way. I call this my shrieking wombat style. You don't want to see my ball-peen tornado. It scares me just thinking about it. Good choice, boys. I didn't want to hurt you any more than you wanted to be hurt. I'm a lover, not a hurter. I don't know if I'm cut out for this, Frankie, but I don't like eating fish. What's it gonna take to make a shark out of you? We eat fish, that's what we do. Bada bing. Hey, 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 what's that? Hey, guys, now that we've established who's boss, I could use a little help with the untying and all. Look. It's like a TV dinner. You think you can handle that, Lenny? Make Dad proud for once? Sure, Frankie. Whatever you say. Okay, I'll get back to the reef, pick up my paycheck. Wait, I got no job. No apartment. And I'm tied to a rock in the middle of the desert. Now all I need is a... Shark! Ah! No, no, wait, wait, don't panic. I'm not gonna eat you. Fine, I'll eat him. Boom! You see that, Lenny? Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy.
all, you stupid fish. I ain't gonna hurt you. Forget about it. It'll be totally painless. Frankie! Frankie! <laughs> Say something, Frankie! Now I've done it. Pop's gonna kill me. Yeah, that's right. Try to eat me. Didn't know who you were messing with, did you? Well, I showed you. Nobody eats me without permission. Not gonna make that mistake twice. Cause I'm like, wham, pow, thump. And he's like, no, not the thump. So I'm all, how about a little on the pudding? Ha <laughs> ha, give it up for the shock slayer. Woo! Katie Current here with the latest in unavoidable exposition. A local fish named Oscar has just defeated a shark, that's right, a great white shark, in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oscar, the fish of this city have begun calling you the Shark Slayer. How does that make you feel? Well, Katie, I slay sharks. That's my job. I mean, what else would they call me? Were you scared? Scared? <laughs> that's a good one, Katie. The shark didn't even know what hit him. I was like, you want to eat me? Come here, big guy. I got a snack for you. You're so eloquent. Now, about this shark you slew, aren't you concerned that his father, Lino, and his army of fearsome enforcers might seek revenge? His father, Lino? The Lino? The, uh, most powerful shark in Reef City. You know what? I think I smell a shark around here somewhere. Gotta go kick him a few times. I'll see you later. You heard it here first, folks. Oscar the Shark Slayer is going to confront Lino and his goons head on. That was Lino's son? Now every shark in the ocean's gonna be after me. I gotta find a place to lay low for a bit. Huh. I seem to remember there's an abandoned kelp bed around here somewhere. That sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Behind those gates, maybe. Let me see, if I pull that switch...